Manchester United, Mike, where do they go from here? Well, they've got to they've got to start again. I mean, the, the game's come thick and fast now, so you know they've got to recover and prepare for uh, what will be a, a huge game, Man United versus Bayern Munich. But they they were short today for sure. You know, Brighton probably gave them a bit of a lesson really in how to play football at the highest level, and the goals for me were fantastic. What was what was so disappointing about United's performance to you, Mike? The most disappointing aspect. Just disjointed for me. I just thought they, they looked as though they were setting up in a certain way of playing. Then obviously there's a lot of, I, I thought there was a lot of rotation going on, which exposed them to the strengths of Brighton, really, which was to play through the middle. They play through the middle, get it out wide, then go again in the final third. And, uh, and they executed their game plan perfectly, perfectly. So, you know, United have some some lessons to learn that they, they need probably to... Uh, have a good look at themselves and see where they can improve. And and certainly in that attacking area, obviously they need to score goals, but, but in the midfield and the defensive area, they need to tighten up. You say they look disjointed, but what's the issue here? Because these players have been playing together for a bit of time now. The only fresh face really is, is Rasmus Hoyland, which was taken off um, in the second half. Mm -hmm. Is it the players not understanding instructions or is it Ten Hag not being able to figure out how to sort this out? Well, I've no idea. I mean, because I'm I'm on the outside looking in, sort of thing. So looking at it objectively, there's a lot of players that are starting in certain positions, but then they get caught up in the game and, and open up spaces for the opposition to play. And also, you know, I know the stat was good that United don't lose games at home, but um, but that stat could be definitely under pressure now because teams are working them out on how to how to expose them, bring them on play through them, play beyond them, and chances will come. Yeah, and Brighton absolutely play through them, beyond them as well, Gary. I mean, full mm. credit to this Brighton side. You went for a draw, you were being conservative, but I think you're more than happy to be <laughs> wrong this time round. Um, yeah, I think you have to give great credit to Brighton Football Club. Um, you know, they, their last two games now, they've won them both 3-1 against Newcastle, and Manchester United, two teams that this week will be playing Champions League football. And, of course, Brighton will be in the, well, what, the Europa um, League, won't they? Um, so, you know, again, it would appear that Brighton have taken steps further in the right direction since the end of last season. Um, you know, I still think we have to... Bear in mind from Manchester United's perspective that it's early stages in the season, um, but it's really not a good start for them. Um, that is for sure. There is a lot of turmoil behind the scenes, isn't there? You know, there's a situation, you know, surely if Sancho is fit and of the right mind, um, and we've, no, we've seen what he's been able to do in the past, probably main, mainly before he came to Manchester United, but, you know, he's a top player but he hasn't been and now he's got some dispute going on because of um you know him and uh, ten hag falling out a little bit you've got anthony who you know there are some allegations about him so he's been given some leave from the club that certainly doesn't help they signed mason mount who was one of their big summer signings um he's not fit at the moment hoyland's joined the club for 70 plus million um, he's a very young man who still has everything to prove. Um, I still think he's getting up to speed, and I think that's why he was substituted after 60 minutes um, or thereabouts. Um, you know, I, I think that there's there's an awful lot of work for Ten Hag and Manchester United Football Club to do. They've got a new goalkeeper, for example, Anana. Um, you know, that's I like question him very about much. him today for sure. Well, well, yes, of, of course. Um, but I think you could probably put a question mark against just about every single Manchester United player today. 